Hi everyone, I'm Danielle. And today I would like to speak to you specifically about a problem that we have uh, sometimes with young people, but maybe especially with older people, that we have problem of sleeping. They have sleep deprivation, they have problem with the rhythm of sleeping, so sometimes they go to, we can go to sleep and it takes a long time before we fall asleep. Sometimes we fell asleep quite easily and then we wake up, I don't know, 3 a.m. in the morning and stay awake for a long period of time. And I know that when it's gathering like that, it's coming again and again and again, then it's un really uncomfortable. Then you feel tired all the day. You can feel, I don't know, maybe pain in your body because you're rolling the bed all the time or maybe the muscle doesn't get nourishment. You can get uh, cranky and all sorts of things, okay? So because it's very important to sleep a, a very good sleep night. So what I want to tell you about it that we can do something about it with the hidden Qigong. And I would like to show you a very simple exercise that I do many, many times in my classes because I have quite a lot of old people that practice with me. I'm sorry for the uh, word old people, but you know, I don't know, maybe people around 70s, is, is 70s or 65 or something like that. This is more the majority of the people that have problem with sleep for a long period of time. Okay? And it doesn't really matter what's the reason. It can be medication. It can be that you have to go to the toilet. Maybe you're worried or anxious, whatever. So the exercise is quite simple. I'm standing like that. I can do it also uh, sitting down on a chair or maybe even in my bed. And I'm just gathering the chi from the center up. So I'm squeezing a little bit inward and then I'm expanding up. Breathe in and breathe out. I like this exercise because it's very, very simple. I'm breathing in and breathing out. I can show from the side also. I'm just sitting down a little bit with my back open and close. Small motion with the breath and the intention. I breathe in and I breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And I want to explain why this exercise can work. Well, first of all, if I take it from the physical point of view, many, many times when we don't sleep or we turn around in bed and it gets again and again, we have a lot of pain throughout the muscle, the body. Maybe we turn from side to side, so the shoulder and the neck and the lower back is really uncomfortable. So by breathing and doing this motion, we actually facilitate the energy through these organs and through this area. So there's more chi, less pain. This is very good for us also. The other thing is that I think about this area here, this is an area that does a, like a bundle of the nervous system. Sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system works here. So when I'm doing this, actually this motion, I give in a massage to this area, so the nervous system is, is relaxed. So I can be more relaxed. There may be more, less tension in my body, I can sleep better. Another thing is that many people that uh, suffer from sleep deprivation, deprivation, they feel tired along the day. So if you think about it, when I'm gathering the chi here, this is the heart meridian in this small finger. So this will help to facilitate more blood to, and circulation in the body, more oxygen. And this is the lung meridian also from here. And we say that the chi is gathered and moved throughout the body with the lungs. So actually I'm opening this both meridian here by the facilitation and motion and the breath. So I would like to show you that, let's say, before you go to sleep, you can do this exercise and you do it very calm, very slow, about 10 times. Breathe in and out. Because I don't want to gather too much energy. I just want to relax this area, calm the mind, relax the spine and the muscle before I go to sleep. So I breathe in and out. And even if I'm moving slower and I need a few more breaths in and out before I finish the movement, it's still okay. Just gather the chi, relax. You can do it even by closing your eyes and then just go down to the bed, put your head on a pillow and try to sleep, okay? When I wake up in the morning or during the day, if I feel tired because I didn't sleep for a long time, I can do it a bit more fast, more aggressive. Like, breathe in and out, in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth, okay? So gather more chi, but you see it's still a quite a gentle motion. It's not strong, I'm not opening very strong. So I'm here and out, 
okay? So the motion is very, very easy and simple. You know, I want to tell you, it's not a pill. It's not something that I take and I fall asleep or feel more energy. It will take time. Practicing or feeling Qigong takes time, takes perseverance. It means that you have to practice this exercise every day or at least four or five times a day in a, in a day in a week and then slowly, slowly it will get better. But this is a very natural, healthy solution for you and I highly recommend it. Have a beautiful day. Thank you very much.